Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I will be talking about Blender NURBS. And Blender NURBS is actually part of the curve. There's NURBS and there's Bezier. They're kind of very, very similar. So let's uh, let's just investigate. So first we have Bezier, and we also have NURBS curve. And we have NURBS circle, or things like that. So by default, it's just looking similar they are all like just like a curve they have different color if you go to edit mode and in blender bezier and nerves are rarely people rarely talk about this because it's kind of really not so powerful I mean in terms of the way you can manipulate it however if you use stretch of nodes you actually have a lot of nodes that's already dealing with nerves or or even like curve there's a lot here that uh, um, I will try to take a look and try to understand it and try to actually make use of it. So first of all, uh, things with Blender Curve, uh, doesn't matter if it's, it's a NURBS or a Bezier, you can, you can use the geometry panel here and make some kind of thickness, all right, things like that. Some people sometimes uh, think okay if you have like a line like this and you want to kind of have a curve that's kind of closed uh, you can do that if you if you actually specify a nerves curve and you fill the caps so it's not always so not always so obvious but you can fill the caps like that if you want to baffle it later that's another kind of like another topic However, yeah, it's a, there's a lot of tricks with a curve. However, I want to show you to what nodes can do on top of the curve, okay? Let's suppose we have, let's do it everything. Just create a curve Bezier so we don't get too confused. So I have three Bezier curve. Uh, perhaps I should give it more resolutions, first of all. So only two points by default, and this is the what they call it control points. Uh, anyway, I, I'm gonna extrude it with E and then rotate. So we have three points. Let's make another one. Tap E, extrude, and then rotate. So we have this curve. Just duplicate it and duplicate it again. I remember the first time using curve and nerves it was actually using Maya or even if back in back in the day I use also form Z. Um, this is interesting. I have a lot of CAD apps out there for architecture and industrial design. So anyway this is curve. All have the same control points. Let's save this as spread chalk nerves so we cannot tell they are nerves or bezier but we know they are bezier because of the name here so we're gonna use bezier in so stretch out have bezier in nodes so we're gonna get our curve get selections first of all and then I'm gonna show you what we can do with this loft So we have nerves love and we have surface from curves lofting. So it's, uh, the function is called lofting. So it's uh, supposed to be super basic. However, the first time using it, you might feel surprised. So this is what it does. Okay, it's doing a lofting. Three curves and a loft between the curve and you get this. There's other option like explicit, I'm not gonna talk about that is uh, for now just take a look at this surface from curve evaluate surface so we can actually have let's have another curve over there so we have uh, this is the second curve you might notice <coughs> you might notice that it's not it's also not updating in real time right we move the curve it's not updating um, that's actually something that you might need to change in the preference stretch up and enable live in objects 
maybe and then you save it and then restart blender anyway for now it's okay select all the curve get selections we have this apply apply matrices assigned by default so that's also really important and we have this cyclic cyclic is just making it like a cyclic like a cylinder so we have ability to do this to resemble it in U and resemble it in V. This is already really powerful because Blender itself, I don't know if they have lofting. I don't think they have. So we can create surface just by using this curve. Select all the curve, get selections. We can change from linear to cubic. This line RBF, what is RBF? And yeah, there's a lot of options here. I'm just gonna use cubic for simplicity. And if I so the problem is now yeah, it's not updating in real time, but maybe if I restart Blender, it's still gonna do that. And by the way, with the with the sorting, currently it's sorting it by the name. If I'm not wrong, so if we if we pick this curve randomly or let's say okay for now because we it's not updating and the curve is overlapping, I'm gonna put the surface over there. So I'm gonna pick this curve randomly, and I'm gonna get the selection. Still sorting it. Are we still getting the same result? Maybe we're still getting the same result. However, we might be able to sort it. Try if, if I use like shovel, this shovel, and just shuffle our curve. So we can do that in Spectrum. We can reorder the curve so it's lofting it differently. So that's pretty powerful. Maybe if you want to sort it more manually so you have five curves and you want to you want to give the index so you have five curves and you, you want to randomize it four two one three no you can reorder this kind of basically that's the idea so that's a uh, that's the thing with lofting however on top of that also Spreadtalk have polyline viewer, which also I think very useful. We can load this curve using objects in, like normal objects in, get the selections. By default, the matrix is not applied here, so be careful if you are using bevel, bevel curve. So we have this curve vertices coming in, and we specify, for example, circle or end gone um, we can use vertices plug into the PV that that's actually gonna create a curve supposedly oh, okay my mistake this vertices should go directly into PV alpha so it's gonna create a curve they're kind of on top of each other, you know why? Because we need to apply matrices. And turn off, turn off join. So this should be another way you can take advantage of Blender, uh, Spectrum and Blender curve. So this guy is also another thing very important and one more thing on top of this okay this output is actually another curve right so we also have mesh viewer and it, so if we separate these very quickly if this goes into the face okay again 
here they're on top of each other we need to apply the matrices so this should go yeah and if you want to close this because this is already a polygon we can cut the start and cap the end okay so three different ways actually the uh, love thing is a it's actually a need another topic but I just put it together in this video because it's actually really powerful we don't have we don't have something called B mesh viewer anymore so it's just called mesh viewer it's new in the latest retro keep that in mind okay so we have this so this this guy is the curve so it's another it's just a different thing just so that you know you can actually output a curve and the curve can be lofted you can generate everything inside spectrum and the curve itself it's a uh, the nice thing is that it doesn't have to be the same number of control points or vertices you can have uh, different numbers on the curve and the lofting will still works But this is what I want to show you basically. The basic of lofting, a curve, and how so how you can use this curve uh, and resemble. Oh no, I like beveling it. So you could create a lot of things just by this. In the future, I wanna take a look at all these nodes um, one by one because at the moment it's like all over. I, I mean, it's like everything together at the same place and you don't know where to start slightly confusing but it's a lot like I found out like with the coding and nodings a lot of codes is that people just throw codes at you like sometimes 10,000 or 1,000 functions thrown at you and you don't know where to start that's the problem supposedly you start with just a simple code like a, just a bunch of codes and then you, you just use that for a while and if you need a more advanced code and then you can increase the number so if we go back to our where's our curve okay here you can scale it I think and we can reload it's gonna update this one is rather new so I need to always get selection there it's updating anyway if we can have like auto updates to work for us then it's it's pretty cool so give it uh, give it your uh, give you some time to take a look at the notes basically just curve and surface don't worry about field for now curve and surface they're dealing with nerves and blender curve and you can you can generate all kind of surface based on curve basically yeah all right so thanks again for tuning in and let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye